Hi everyone, Jenny Marples here, live from Creativation 2018. Um, I'm here in the incredible Tim Holtz ideology booth. It's amazing. The samples that the designers have created are out of this world. I'm sure you'll have seen them all shared on social media. Make sure you check them out. I know a lot of them will also be blogging them, so if you want to see all the details and stuff, those will be coming along soon. Okay, I was given the honour the absolute privilege of creating a piece I'm thrilled to bits and the lovely Karen Beers has decided that she's going to take this video so that I can walk you through it because it's not flat so quite a lot to flip through so here is my tattered worn binder one of Tim's binders and I've used a whole bunch of the new ideology project uh, products inside first of all you can see on the front here, lovely floral pattern. This isn't new paper. This is existing paper from the Memoranda collection. And what I've layered over it is some of the new collage paper. I've actually used some of the black and white collage paper and painted it on the back. Just in case you're wondering how this is gonna work, I will make sure that I put some videos up there to share my hints and tips along the way. Oh my goodness, look who's here. Isn't this amazing? <laughs> Absolutely stunning. So incredibly talented. Thank you for sharing your talents with us. And thank, thank you very you. much for Just asking. Look I'm at this. blown away. With She's you. never speechless, so this is a great moment to capture. I didn't mean to crash your video, but I just have to say, it. unbelievable. Really. Thank you. Love it. Thank you so much. And wonderful much. person. Thank you. He yes. is. He's, well, she is genuine. She is genuine. Thank you. So okay, we've got the new collage papers on, and I love the comments. I don't know whether you can get in there. So we're used to the amazing chit chat stickers and all the words that we get from Tim. Well, he's gone snarky on us this time and I sat there with the pad for about half an hour, giggling like a silly school kid reading them all. They're such fun. All the things you wanna say, never feel confident to. So that's the front cover. Then we're gonna pull inside to one of the first pages. This has got a couple of new elements. This is one of the baseboard frames. Absolutely beautiful. And I've actually edged it one of, with one of the ideology metal frames, the ovals. And inside, can you see this bejeweled charm? And actually, when you get it, all the jewels are in. And you also get the, um, the little pieces in the, in the front that go in with the epoxy sticker already there, so no fiddling with your tweezers. And I've actually added one onto the back there to make it even more 3D. Just love that. So that really works. As if you want a dimensional piece that's interactive, that really works beautifully. Okay, so flipping over. We've got lots of the memoranda papers and you'll see here that I've actually vamped them up a little more with there's the new design papers and those design tapes are matching the memoranda papers perfectly. So if you want to add a little bit more dimension, a bit of shading and whatever, here's another of the paper dolls that you're all so in love with. Let's flip over. Really exciting piece here. This is one of the new little word token tags on the side here. Love these because you'll see adding a charm or something to the side of a page can be really awkward, but with these, they are perfect. Yeah. Pop them on, you've got the little hole there already that you can then just fit one of the word tokens onto. Okay, here's some more of that collage paper. You can see how it works beautifully on pale backgrounds absolutely beautifully flipping over more of exactly the same with our tags perfect for those junk journalists out there who like to add a few more extra little bits and pieces here one of the uh, pieces of ephemera that we're all familiar with and we've probably used many times but add some collage paper on the back and it just takes it to a whole new level flipping through you'll see here again the same why not add a few pieces just little bits torn off and add them to your ephemera as well just to give them a whole new twist it means what you've already got you can add to and make it all your own flipping through we've got more of the little words and tokens here you can create little sayings going on there 
and then I love this. This is the larger of the baseboard frames and you'll see here I've used a paper doll. I've actually used one of these new, look at that cute rosette. The rosette there from the rosette and ribbons. Love that. So that's been inked over. You use mushroom alcohol ink and a little bit of um, picket fence white paint in the middle and just add one of the rub-ons from the special delivery collection and there you go and you'll see here I've actually put some of more of the collage paper in and that's just adds another little twist to it all <laughs> moving around you can see here these papers are working on increasingly darker backgrounds lots of little flips and twists you can see there really how how magical it makes even the plainest of the patterned papers not that any of them are plain but you know sort of some of the the background ones just brings them to a new level now here this was really exciting another piece of the ephemera can you see how dark that one is it's one of the darkest pieces and yet still the ephemera the uh, collage paper has gone over i've got a tip for you here um, if yours goes a little white, then it's a really clever idea. Once you've sealed them down with the collage medium, then just go over with your Distress crayons, give them a little rub. Because they've got the Distress medium on them, it then means that they are going to move so much easier with, the, um, with the, a little bit of moisture on a, a baby wipe or some dampened tissue. And you can actually include in that colour, so you can get rid of any white, patch, white patches that you might have. Okay. flipping over don't you just love these crowns all these little items and just keep dressing them up and adding little things pockets and great fun amazing things here's one of the ribbons you remember the rosette on the little girl earlier well this is one of the ribbons and I just love this this is just one of our found relatives and just add that snarky comment it just yeah again takes it to a whole new level and then if you're wondering yes the collage paper will work beautifully look even on a black background and there's no hint of white whatsoever doesn't that work so well so you've got the white version and the black version it's going to go on any surface including fabric surfaces okay just flipping over to the last more pages and you'll see even the inside covers have been completed in the same way okay so i hope you've enjoyed seeing my project maybe you can see why karen's been such a gem and been able to do a real live video so you get a proper walkthrough thank you for joining me all right make sure you check out online all the projects that the designers have done using the ideology range because they have been fabulous we've been inspired by new product from Tim. And what is your blog? My blog is pushingtherightbuttons.blogspot.com and you can find me online, just go onto Facebook or Instagram, type in Jenny Marples and you'll find me. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, signing off.